Earlier today, a story started circulating around about 15 hours or so ago. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, October the 7th, 2023. This story involves current WBA light heavyweight champion, Dimitri Bivol, and his wife. Uh, she has posted on social media alleging domestic abuse. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to cover this story uh, with respect because there's always two sides of it and me being a victim of false allegations in the past and many other males and vice versa uh it's a very touchy topic and a very sensitive topic for me so let's jump right into things uh this source here brunch boxing was when i first found out about it it was on my uh, feed as soon as i logged into twitter I just started getting back on Twitter about uh, this week or so. I had to take a break from social media. But let me go read this here. And I'm also going to make sure I post this link down below in the uh, comments. Now, I'm not going to butcher her name. We're going to call her Cat Bevel. How about that? The former partner of WBA light heavyweight champion, uh, Dimitri Bevel, has accused the boxer and his parents of domestic abuse. The former Mrs. Bevel took to social media to detail the years long alleged abuse that went that went as far back as 2009. Uh, on one occasion, Kat alleges that Dimitri, with the assistance of his mother, pressured her into getting an abortion of their twin babies in the early stages of their relationship in order to not interfere with his uh, burgeoning career. When speaking of the alleged reproductive coercion, she was quoted saying, I had to, I had an abortion at the direction for the sake of your career, she continued. Your mother chose where to do it. She was 19 years old at the time. Kat alleges that the abuse turned physical on more than one occasion, at least one of which occurred in front of their children. She suffered facial, uh, facial abrasions, as a result of one of the alleged attacks, when Dimitri was confronted by her father, Kat claims Dimitri told her father that she had hit herself. She alleges that she was dissuaded and prevented from going to the police by Yuri Bivol, Dimitri's father, allegedly. Kat alleged that she lost almost 20 pounds in two weeks as a result of emotional abuse suffered at the hands of Bivol's mother. Kat also says that she contemplated you know, I'm not going to say that word anymore. I said enough of it last week. Uh, she sought the help of a psychiatrist in a month leading up to their separation. When asked about it, Kat said, I felt that every day was bad. This saved me. In April of earlier this year, Kat announced via social media that the couple had separated and were no longer together after 16 years. It is not known if the divorce has been finalized. Dimitri Bivo has not been in the boxing ring since his unanimous decision victory over Gilberto Ramirez in September 26th. Of, that was last year. Uh, his manager, Vadim uh, Kornilov, he uh, also managed uh, uh, Ruslan Provotnikov and several of the fighters, claimed his absence in the ring was attributed to Bivo wanting some time off. Huh. So I was able to do some digging. Uh, this is her. Public domain. She's on Instagram. Uh, his kid looks just like him. Kids. Uh, this is what she's posting. The sound on this is me standing. They're the reason why I'm still standing. I can't read this. Let's see. Let's pause this. I didn't expect to receive so many words of support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mind you, Bevo hasn't said a word. So there's not really too much of we we don't we don't know anything. Everything that I've shown you is literally all that's out there. I can't um and I've been digging. I'm talking about all the way down to 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 the scum of Reddit. Look. Like and Reddit is scum. You know, I've, I've been digging my man, uh, boxing antics, you know, look at this, look at this, this horrible. Where's it at? Look at this. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. People are wild. 
So as I'm sitting here waiting for uh, Gilberto Ramirez, actually, you know what? I want to see uh, Beck the Bully versus uh, Lantez Fox. I'm interested in that fight. Uh, Josh Warrington got knocked the fuck out earlier today <clears throat> after he was looking the best of his career. But let's stay on topic. But as I said, you know, it's not really much to the story. I can't find there's no more details. You know, those are the details right there. And even when I uh, uh, go type his name into Twitter and just see if there's anything new, nothing's going on. And apparently they've been separated for a long time. So I'm wondering if this uh, altercation is recent is why she's she she's posting about it now. But either way, if it's true, that woman beat her shit ain't no joke, man. You don't get no stripes and you're not you don't, like, bro, like. I'm not trying to hear that cultural shit. None of that. I mean, you know, he has been he has been out for a while. You know, uh, these are the photos she released. Nothing graphic. But it just makes you wonder, you know. It just makes you wonder where he's been. You know, it's like reveal yourself, bro. So I'm going to be following this story um, as soon as something comes out. I wonder if anybody's uh, trolling him. <clears throat> you getting trolled, bro? Let's see. I just watched his ex-wife stories and the things he did to her said were horrible. Sounded like he's a typical abuser. He also beat her and not even once professional achieves me nothing. And trust me, I've been digging. You know, I've been using Google Translate and all that. Can't find anything. Nothing uh, of a note. I need to get back on my Rosetta Stone. That'd be a good language to learn, like Russian and Spanish. So since we're here, let's talk about this mess of a division. Uh, Arthur Bird to be Evan Colin Smith are supposed to be fighting for the WBC, IBF, WBO and Ring Magazine title sometime uh, next year. Uh, Bert to BF is always injured and he's been pretty much cursed. Uh, his career 19 and 0 with 19 KOs. I was at his fight. He fought in Philly versus uh, Volzdick. We want to see him versus Bevo if Bevo gets through this shit. But as it stands right now, he's going to be fighting Colin Smith in January. It's October, by the way. Uh, one fight a year. You know, one in 2021, well, two in 2021, but these fights don't be mean and nothing for real, for real. We've been waiting for this Bevo fight for God knows how long it has to happen. Uh, other fighters in the division don't even come close to Bevo and Bert to BF. For example, Bert to BF is going to beat up Colin Smith. Colin Smith pretty good, but I'm still picking Bert to BF. Joshua Boatzi not high on him. Daniel Aziz not high on him. Boatzi's there. I'm here and there struggling to sell tickets. Anthony Yard, he's already had his shot. Not how you are him. Fuck sakes, man. What's going on here? That's Andre Durrell. Y'all see that shit? Gilberto Ramirez is fighting in a few hours, and he's not even in cruise, uh, the light heavyweight division no more. Look, Alexander Volznik is back. He came back on, uh, on uh, Canelo versus Charlo last week. I mean, you see this nasty division? Ew. Ew. So I just thought I'd give you an update on what's going on with the division. Uh, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T-Street Controversy with 5 360.